Hello everybody, Flick here and today we've got another live video. It's been a little while since I've done one of these. Today we are looking at a starter pack for the new Magic 2014 expansion called Theros. It is Theros, yes. I was reading it side on, apologies. And the light is probably reflecting off the front, of the front of the packaging, but don't worry, I'll get it open in a second and we'll be able to see it a bit better. Also, excuse me if there's any cuts in the video, I'm looking after my sister's dog today and she does not get on well with mine, so I may have to break up fights now and then. Unfortunately, that's just the way schedules conflict sometimes. So, anyway, on to this. I have been given the Blazing Beasts of Myth starter pack of the Theros set. However, there are a few. There's also Devotion to Darkness, which is a black-themed one. Favours of Nyx, which I think is blue, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, and Thosa's Army, which is white, I believe. And then Manipulative Monstrosities, which I'm guessing will be... Hmm, I'm not sure what colour that would be. Possibly pure green. Again, I don't know. Each one of the starter sets contain a ready-to-play 60-card deck, and as I read off my little notes I got given with it, I'm going to start opening this. Uh, one foil premium rare, which you can see on the front. Two 15-card booster packs, so it's very similar to the Magic 2014 set in a sense. A strategy insert, apparently, and then a Magic Learn to Play guide, which I'm willing to bet will be almost identical to the base starter set, other than it will list the new Ferris sets. Also... Along with this starter set, I was given a very nifty little USB drive uh, which had some assets on it to show off the new expansion, etc. There's the back of the box. I forgot to show that off, I believe. What does it say? Uh, Blazing Beasts of Myth. Burn the path Burn the path for your enormous beasts to triumph. Sorry, I read that wrong. Flood your enemies in fire while growing your creature to unmanageable sizes to take down any force in your way. This refers to a, a rule that is new to me anyway, and keep in mind, as I said last time I did one of these unboxing videos, my only experience with Magic is via the Magic 2013 and 2014 games, so they don't have some of the more up-to-date rules. I've noticed on the front foil card here that they tend to have monstrosity rules. So if the creature isn't monstrous, you pay the cost on the card to become monstrous. So, for example, this ember one here... Is monstrosity of three. If you pay five colorless man mana, two red, it gets plus one plus one for every monstrosity number that it is. And in here will be the starter set and the booster packs. And that's my dog growling as it fights with the other one. And um, that's what the Theros booster packs look like. I was given pack shots of all these, but I think, oh, to finish a thought I had before getting distracted, I got given a trailer for the new Theros themed decks and that's going to be at the end of this video. So like I did last time, I will open the booster packs last to see what fancy cards I get with the luck of the draw. This will be the starter set. Uh, let's have a look here. As my dogs continue to get angry at one another, we'll just cut open this. They don't actually hate each other, it's just they argue over the same damn toys. Uh, right, let's see what we have here. This is very similar to the standard 2014 starter set we have here. Do you agree, Maya? Yeah, she agrees. So, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to read this, but you'll just have to take my word for it. This lists each of the Theros starter sets. It lists what every card is, as well as some flavour text about it and how it plays. Doesn't show what colour... Oh, it does show what colour they are. So, the Favours of Nyx is actually a pure... No, it's white and black. Uh, Manipulative Monstrosities is blue and red. Devotion to Darkness is black and blue, actually, not pure black. Uh, and on this end, possibly getting roughly in view, the one I have is red and green, so it's not one pure colour. And the uh, Antherosa's army, I may be saying that wrong, is green and white. And on this side, we have a boost... No, we don't have a booster, what am I saying? A red booster on the page. It's basically just a poster of the, the kind of poster character for the Theros expansion, her story. A couple of advertisements. This is not the starter guide, so what was that? Did I miss that in the box? I may have. Let me double check here. Did I miss it in the box? No, I don't think I did. Hmm. Oh, I'll be at the back. Yes, it's at the back of the actual deck itself. So we'll get this open. We will have a look at the cards inside it. And then I will open the booster packs. And at the end of the video, as I said, there will be the Theros trailer. Hopefully doing a better job describing what it's about than I have done so far. Uh, where's my scissors? There's my scissors. And I'm willing to bet actually now that this is an identical start uh, how to play guide that the 2014 base packs have. And indeed it is. It's exactly the same. It tells you about the colours. It tells you about turn order. Um, how each card type works on the back here. Yep. has all the kind of quick reference for special rules. And I'm aware that I cannot fit this massive page into my camera because it's 
tiny camera, but whatever, as I say, it's, a, it's the same as the last time. So, we're on to the important stuff, the cards. Now, I can't remember how I did this last time that gave it a better view for the camera. That looks okay. It may not be fully readable, unfortunately, but anyway, we get an em Ember Swallower, a Satellite Rambler, a few of them. They look like goat men from Narnia. Uh, another Satellite Hiddenist, Hedonist, sorry. Especially you, Hedonism bot. Voyaging Satellite, so I guess they're all based around these, and they can untap target lands if you tap the card themselves. And I've got a Minotaur with haste, two Minotaurs with haste. Uh, and another Courier Centaur. Oh, I'm familiar with the Rottweiler Lizards from the new expansion that Magic 2014 had, which I did, I did do a video on. If you haven't seen it, you can just check my previous videos, it's in there. What we got here? We've got a Piper. Uh, tempered Cyclops. So it looks like the, the red team monsters in the deck are the stronger ones. And they have the monstrosity rule, whereas the green ones are for getting more land out or untapping land to reuse it, which is a bit of an interesting concept that I'm not familiar with. A base Cyclops card, a Nissim Asp. Interesting. Oh, it has reach, 4-5. Not bad. I should also point out now that since I have two full decks, I have this Theros starter pack and I also have the, the base 2014 starter set that I was sent by Wizards of the Coast. I am now able to actually have games with people who are too cheap to buy their own starter sets. <laughs> so we might have a live card game. It's going to be freaky though, not having like not playing the 2014 computer game where it makes sure that you obey the rules. I think we're just onto the land cards now and there'll probably be 22 of them in total. Yep, and then we're on to spell cards. So I'll get that's all land, it's all just red and green land. Don't need to see that. Uh, then we're on to, yeah, enchantments and things. Dogs, will you be quiet? So we've got enchantment, we've got lightning strike, that's more like my kind of thing. Lightning strike deals three damage to target player or creature. Yep, I like those. Target creature or player, so it's either or. Destructive rivalry. Quite a few sorceries, I wasn't expecting so many of those. Oh, an instance. Destroy an artifact or enchantment. Scry 2. Don't know what the scry rule is. Look at the top two cards of your library, then put any number of them on the bottom of your library and the rest on the top in any order. Alright, so you can reorder if, you, if you're about to draw something you really can't use or you really don't need. You can just cast it to the back of your deck and it'll be okay. Rage of Phosphorus. Four damage to target creature. It can't be regenerated this turn and it has scry 1. Interesting. Scry is a rule I am not familiar with. Same with the monstrosity rule. However... The only thing I saw with Monstrosity was the, the foil card, which was the Ember Swallower. So I guess it is a rare rule, the the one that lets you buff it up if you're willing to pay a very massive mana cost on top of what is otherwise fairly cheap. I didn't notice they also had a weird new symbol for the Theros deck. Anyway, so that is the base deck you get. I can't really comment on how competitive or not it is. At the very least, it is a playable deck, and that's what counts. And we might be able to see it up against a base starter set soon. Oh, and that was all the land cards. I'll put those back on there as well. And then we'll open up these two booster pack cards and see what I get in them. I assume they're all only Theros themed except potentially having one land card. I like opening booster packs from the top so that I don't like wreck the foil thing. It's an OCD type thing, but I don't think I'm going to get away with it here. There we go. I, I was. So there'll always be an advertisement as well. Uh, yep, Friday night. Why is it always Friday night for magic? I never understood that. It's sure that the weekend is easier. Oh, but it's on the back of a harpy flying 1-1, one, one, so I assume this may have something in it that summons a harpy, or potentially not. Agents of Horizon. Lenon Snarecaster. Uh, Cryptide. Cryptide, my mistake. Uh, Crusader. Divine Verdict. Uh, one of those couriers. So yes, it is all Theros themed. I can tell by the icons on them. A spell, an instant, rather. Windseer Rider, a unicorn, a human soldier, flame cast wheel. Sorry, I'm looking. <laughs> I like the art on that. You can sacrifice it to deal three damage to target creature. Eh, it's only a one cost um, artifact, so that's not too bad. Then you've got Dark Betrayer, that's more of my theme, black colored decks. Boon Satyr, and one random land card. Indeed, it is themed with um, Theros art, because you can. it has the symbol on it as well. So that was one deck. Again, I can't really tell if that was a good haul or not, but keep in mind any starter set has two and booster packs are always like random. What do we have advertising in this one? Become a hero. Ah, it shows the, the new fat pack. I almost got one of those fat packs, but unfortunately my PR contact ran out of them, so I'm very sad because that looks like you get about 5,000 cards. That's an exaggeration. 
And it's on the back of a Sun Champion. Creatures you control get plus two, plus two, and have flying. Wow, that's really good. Why doesn't it have a mana cost on it? People who know magic better than me, can you explain this card? Is it like just a, a show-off card? I don't see any cost on it at all. I don't know. I'll leave that to people who know better than me. The rest of the, the booster pack. Cavern Lampard. And then a Crusader and a dog nudging my elbow. Cavalry Pegasus. Crackling Triton. Chosen by Heli Heliopoot or something. Rage of Phosphorus and another one that was in the deck. Griffin. A voyaging thingy that was in the same deck. Uh, Chimera. Or Chimera, sorry. Another Chimera. Sea God's Revenge. Oh, that's interesting. Is that Poseidon? No. Insatiable Harpy, which has very nice art on it. I'm not, again, I don't think the, the writing and the art shows fully, although I probably should be showing off the exact stats of cards anyway. Uh, Labyrinth Champion. Commute with the Gods. No, Commune with the Gods. <laughs> Commute. You all get in a car with like the Gods of the world. And then another random land card. So that was a look at a uh, Theros starter set. The deck itself, what's in the two booster packs. The how to play guide is the same as the one that comes with standard Magic 2014 starter sets, etc. It's the basics of how to play game. And if I do end up having a real life game of Blighty, you can be sure that we'll have one of these each, making sure that we're trying to keep ourselves right. So that might be coming later. I am going to end now, and as I said earlier, I'm going to end with a trailer for the new Theros content. It'll let you see more about the hero that you play as, that lady that was on that card I didn't understand, which I've now misplaced her. What's her name? Uh, Elspeth the Sun Champion. She is the main character for the Theros thing, I believe. So, yeah, this is going to be the trailer that's going to be on it. Real now. Play now. Thank you for checking out this video. Please stick around and like and comment. For more magic content, I do cover the games mostly, as in the, the video games, and there may be more matches coming soon. I, um, I did a video covering the expansion and the game itself. My name is Flick, thank you for checking out this video. Ta-ta for now, stay tuned for the trailer. We are the gods who hold dominion over the world. The givers of light. The stewards of the wilds. The guardians of the dead. Manipulate. Some will manipulate mortals. Create catastrophes. Send monsters to terrorize the land. And such are the whims of the gods. And I am healed. The greatest of these. Yet, something ominous gnaws at the edges of my world. Akros is home to fierce warriors, yet they struggle against hordes of minotaurs. In Miletus, the city of philosophers, oracles foresee disaster. And Satessa, a haven in the wilds, is terrorized by monsters like none have seen before. My world is filled with heroes, but none of them are strong enough to defeat the enemy hiding in plain sight among them. Yet, I know one who is. He does not wish to be a hero. Usurper who would steal it from me. Darkness approaches, and she 